This is a demonstration of JFB Connect integration on a Joomla website. Uh, we're starting out with a bare Joomla website that has no social integration on it. It's set up in the style of the Meals with Friends Facebook demonstration application. You can see the meals that are here. If you click into them, you can see the details about each recipe. We'll first start by setting up our application completely from scratch. You'll see the app is in sandbox mode. We're going to disable that, and that's the only setting we need to make here. If we go into the administration area of JFB Connect, we'll go to Auto-Tune, which is our configuration tool, and we add our Facebook ID and our secret key. And this will go in and detect that this is a new Facebook application and offer to automatically configure it for us. By doing so, you'll see that all the fields are now set up. You'll see that this has configured the website login, the migration settings, and everything else that's required for JFP Connect to perform properly. Once we've finished with our Facebook application setup, we can go into the site config area. And here you can also enable the plugins that are installed with JFB Connect. The JFBC plugin is required for all JFB Connect operation. The JFB Connect authentication and user plugins are required for authentication through Facebook, not required on all sites, but most sites use it. And then the JFBC content plugin is what is used to automatically add social buttons in the comment box to articles or blog posts. So once those are enabled, we go to the error check. We start this. It does a remote check of your website and makes sure that everything seems like it's configured properly for you to go in and start configuring JFB Connect to its fullest. Once done, you'll see the JFB Connect overview page will show all the information about your Facebook application, any of the modules that you may have installed, and profile plugins that also come with JFB Connect.